You do have to choose what gas you want before you can pump it. Oh, it's working. Yeah, but what kind of gas do you want? Is this like American? When you make an espresso, yep. uh, the main goal to have an espresso is to have uh, a certain layer of the crema that they call. My espresso does not have that. I'm going to smell it. Uh, I'm not too excited about the smell. Nope. No, this is not going to work out. Cheers, bro. Cheers. We did it. It didn't clink. <laughs> Guys, Albert here. Uh, we are at uh, Ristorante Roma. Is that what it's called? Uh, it, we're at the Roma restaurant in Federal Hill. And we are having a, uh, I'm having an espresso because I'm living in the spirit of the Italian uh, culture. Right. Zach, who's just an American, unfortunately, is having a regular good old uh, black coffee. Black, freshly brewed coffee. So we are right now in Federal Hill. We're going to do a little vlog style. Zach and I are going to walk around the street. You guys know Zach. I don't need to introduce him. New haircut, same Zach. Uh, we're going to walk down Federal Hill. We're just yep. going to talk about restaurants and lifestyle here. A little bit of the history of Federal Hill. And then maybe we'll go like down other streets to kind of see like properties here. This is a really hot multifamily uh, market. Like this is, you know, Broadway is, where's Broadway? That way, right? That way, yeah. Broadway's that way. Like it's just crazy here how, how hot. This is one of the hottest investment areas in Providence. But yeah, we're starting a Roma right here. Uh, this is like a classic and Italian espresso. deli. Uh, we just decided to get espresso right now. Yeah, so um, originally Federal Hill um, in 1788, uh, Amos Atwells and several other businessmen um, in a syndicate uh, kind of got together and tried to improve the west side of the city. And I'm sure you're familiar with the word Atwells because a lot of streets that we have Atwells Ave, that's a yep. major road on here. Yep. But that's where he originally came from was Amos Atwells. Um, so in the first half of the 19th century, uh, Fed Hill was home to the working class, so you had a lot of cobblers, blacksmiths, um, farmers, things like that. When the shipping trade began to suffer, they went and geared it towards more manufacturing. Oh, yeah. And that's when we had the first big wave of immigrants come over. And Like myself. Like yourself. <laughs> Do you know who was the first big wave of immigrants? Uh, the Irish? The Irish. Yes. Nice. Yes, so um, it actually took... You were it, setting up to say the Italians, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, I it, it was, so 60 years later, it actually was the Italians yes. that yeah. ended up coming over. In 18, 1885, there was a 100 Italian uh, Italians born um, in the Providence area. Wow. By, it was 1920, there was 42,000. Wow. And then it became 20% of the total population for Providence, and it was one of the most densely populated Italian areas in the country. The number today. of Italians kind of grew like how the real estate market has grown in the last three, four years, yeah. would you say? Yeah, yeah. just exploded. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, no, well, let's go, let's go see uh, what restaurants have to offer here, what, what's out there, so let's go check it out together. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Um, so we are on Atwell Street right now. There's a radio over there. Uh, we are in Atwell's. This is where uh, all the Italian restaurants, and this yep. is the Italian street. This is where most of the Italian restaurants are. So, like, we can start right there. So, next up, we have Oyster Bar. Oyster Bar, yeah. Uh, great oysters. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Like, there's uh, actually really good oysters there. Yeah. Now we got an Italian place up there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Constantino's is similar to Roma restaurant, it's kind of like a buffet style. You can get that, but you could also get just foods for yourself. We were there like, six months ago. We were, right? Yeah. Yeah, we had an espresso. This this restaurant right here, is, yeah. this is one of the best uh, also. Uh, really good food. But they're, um, it's like a family run, and sometimes they'll... Get into that. Yeah. Insane. Zuma, another great restaurant. Uh, house great made pizza. Pasta. House made pasta. Delicious. Yes. Oh house made God. pasta. This is probably my favorite. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's up there. And they have yeah. really good pizza. It's uh, uh, They have, I think, a brick oven. But they make pizzas, it's, it's pretty good. It's great. You do have to choose what gas you want before you can pump no, it. Dude, that I is. Got premium, motherfucker. You just. Do you want 93 or 91, bud? Oh, it's working. Yeah, but what kind of gas do you want? Premium. Okay. This is amazing. Is this like American? This is. This is the American dream. 
What? This is the American dream. I'm freezing, dude. All right, so now this is what we did. We are freezing our balls off, Zach and I, and there's just no way I'm staying. We're recording this outside. We have what we have outside, now we're yeah. inside. Yeah. Okay? Right now we're on Broadway. Uh, the goal is going to be we're going to drive around, we're going to show you the potential investment properties in this area so that you know what we're talking about. While having heated seats. It was heated yeah. seats. All right, so... We're on Broadway, right? See, all these properties are multifamily properties. Some first floors usually are offices on this street, but these properties are selling right now somewhere between uh, 480 and 600,000, depending on uh, the condition and the size. How many units are you typically seeing? Two to three. Usually to three. it's mostly three units. Uh, actually, most of them are two, three units. Like this one right here to the left. This is a three unit, but two full units, and this like a, probably like a half. Unit. I don't know. Most of this is zoned uh, uh, R, uh, R3, if I'm not mistaken, which is three units. It just mm -hmm. depends on the size of the property. Like, even if you buy a two family property, it doesn't mean that you can just uh, immediately make it. Go ahead, bro. Thank you. Uh, immediately make it a, a, two fa uh, a three family because it depends if you have enough parking, enough space. There's a couple of things you have to deal with. Um, so, yeah. So, that was Broadway. So, we're going to drive one more through Federal Hill. Uh, where I don't feel Maltese like... Maltese over there. Yes, I almost... I, we almost bought that multi right there. Yeah? Uh, yeah, we almost bought it. I uh, wonder what, they're, what kind of rents can you get? What kind of rents can you expect to pay around here to uh, live in this area? Between fourteen and 1800 Okay. Like, easy. And yeah. then the nicer ones, like those ones right there, mm -hmm. uh, you're paying more for those. Are you seeing a lot of college students renting this area are you seeing this is mostly um, families young professionals young professionals a lot of young professionals it, working in providence working in providence and, yeah, yeah okay yeah that's really the, the majority of people that rent here so we're gonna go um we're gonna turn left on this street and we're gonna show you some more opportunities and try not to hit yeah the jeep yes exactly also don't park like that like a jackass you could have just pulled up a little I, yes, cheap. I could have. So plenty of multis here All right, on the so left. perfect. So uh, amazing, get these, right? Like, see, these are kind of renovated. Not kind of, but like they're updated, right? All these are three units. Three unit, three unit, three unit. So these are ideal for investments. Uh, in the last couple of years, they have just exploded in value. And usually when something comes up in the market here, it's gone within three days and there's a, a line down the street. And it looks like Every they all have their own private parking yes, area. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's a big, yeah. huge, huge thing yeah, to look know. Because yep. parking is tough in the area. It is, and most of these do have parking, and it's most investors that are looking, they look for parking because that's just such, so more, such a more valuable add-on compared to everything else. Okay. So I just continue on down yep. the road that way. That way. So they are built very similar to most yeah. of them. They're yeah, because they were around the same time. Yeah, there. you know, um, usually these are between like 18, 1880 and nineteen thirty. Most of these were built mm -hmm. at that time. Uh, like when you were talking about the history, that's where people really started having a more of a need for these properties uh, because of like the big influx of, like you said, of immigrants that came here. They were working in factories and stuff like that, so they needed housing. That's why we have this. Like most states don't have these kind of multi-units like there's just these three families right you know it just doesn't exist as a concept in most states i mean it goes from blocks here. and blocks and blocks oh yeah three units. oh yeah it's everywhere look like yep. these are like look look at that so most of these are also historically protected so you cannot really mess up uh you know the look of it outside so you, if you do work you got to go get go through the town get approval and, and they're not all the residential. City. You do have some people having Commercial. businesses. Yeah, and yeah. First yeah, floor usually in this, like this in Broadway, mm -hmm. usually the first floor is, um, uh, the first floor is usually commercial. commercial. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then up from there, you can get some residential. Oh, I could have gone to this gas station. Yeah, but that wouldn't have been the same experience. Mm, no. no. Wouldn't have. That's right. I, I wasn't, uh, oh, look how nice these are. Look at this. Yeah, it's great. There's definitely a lot of value in owning a multi-unit, oh having your tenants pay your rent. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, I think we're close to the one that I sold. 
until recently in this area. Yeah, I think so. I don't know so how many are there right any now. listed currently right right now? I don't in know area? in this area. There are so, <clears throat> very few, but not in this like this street. There's nothing. Yeah. Nothing. So I, if something's reasonably priced um, for the market, not saying undervalued, reasonably priced for the market, yeah. how quickly do you think? You're gonna have a flood of offers in Ohio. Uh, <coughs> two days. Two days. In two days, yep. you're looking at uh, if, like people are making offers here without seeing houses. Right. Outside investors, New York, New Jersey. Just because uh, they can maximize the rental income. Oh the yeah, commercial. yeah. And a lot, a big trend that is happening. People are turning these three families into condos now. Yep. That's and big then, in Massachusetts yes, right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So like people are doing that a lot and. Uh, and then obviously the, you're, that's the number one way to maximize profits with something like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, two, three days, you're getting multiple offers if you price it, if you price the property right. That's why you should get pre-approved. Uh, yeah, 100%. Focus on the stuff you can control. Get pre-approved up front. Yep. When you do find a house that you enjoy, that you want to put an offer in on, yep. you can oh, submit sure, that can offer try. immediately. Sure. All right, guys, so look. This was our first vlog. It is freezing. Didn't go up to plan, but we are not ones to quit. We brave the elements just for you yes. to talk about. We, did our, Hill. we did our best. Uh, Try to give you the experience. Yes, hopefully, uh, hopefully you found this valuable. If you have any questions, uh, reach out to us. You know where to find us. Uh, if you want to move to Federal Hill, if you want to eat over here, you reach out. You know where to find us again. Subscribe to our channel and uh, we're out. Hey, if you like this content, watch this video right here and subscribe over here.